In the hushed embrace of a darkened cinema, where the flicker of anticipation dances across the screen, we often find ourselves transported to realms unknown, a timeless journey embarked upon with the first frames of a movie. Recall, if you will, that serendipitous rendezvous with the 1964 cinematic gem, Paris when it sizzles. Do you remember the sensation of suspended reality, as you ventured into a world where creativity mingled with reality? Perhaps it was Audrey Hepburn's beguiling charm that held you captive, or the palpable chemistry she shared with the dashing William Holden. Ah, the magic of that first encounter, the way your heart quickened as the plot unfurled, the laughter that bubbled forth from unexpected comedic twists, and the subtle tugs of emotion that resonated deep within. Maybe it was the whimsical exchanges or the lavish scenes of a Parisian dreamscape that etched themselves indelibly in your memory. Were you swept up in the whirlwind of their imagined characters and their collaborative storytelling escapades? Or did a particular scene linger in your mind, a fragment of celluloid that left an imprint on your cinematic soul? Now, as we turn our attention to the curious tapestry effects woven around Paris when it sizzles, the spotlight shines anew on this classic creation. As if peering behind the curtain, we unveil the intricate threads that gave life to this cinematic tapestry. From the inception of the screenplay to the delightful trivia that adds a pinch of sparkle to the narrative, we journey through the moments that birthed a cherished memory. So, settle into the plush velvet seat of nostalgia as we explore the anecdotes and surprises that dance around Paris when it sizzles. Let us delve into the origins, the behind-the-scenes whispers, and the tidbits that only enhance the allure of this silver screen treasure. With each fact, we unearth, we rekindle the flicker of that first encounter, the thrill of the unknown, the joy of discovery. Come, let us embark on this enchanting exploration, where celluloid dreams meet reality's embrace. Let us celebrate the artistry that has enthralled generations and continues to do so, a testament to the timeless nature of storytelling. As the reels of insight spin before us, let us savor the magic that lies within the frames and between the lines. And so, with hearts open to wonder and minds ready to absorb, let us journey forth, for the secrets of Paris when it sizzles await. It's a tale that transcends time, a tale that has etched itself upon our cinematic souls, a tale that speaks of passion, creation, and the beauty of the silver screen. When Paris sizzled and drizzled, unveiling the untold stories of a cinematic classic in the annals of Hollywood history, few films have generated as much intrigue and curiosity as the 1964 romantic comedy Paris when it sizzles. Brought to life by director Richard Quine, this cinematic gem starred Audrey Hepburn and William Holden in a whirlwind of romance, creativity, and unexpected challenges. While the film's narrative may have ignited the screen, it's the behind-the-scenes tales that truly captivate, including a legendary weather-induced nickname, an homage to a classic, and a fateful collision that altered a scene forever. The drizzling drama that spawned a nickname picture this, Paris, the city of love, shrouded in rain rather than romance. The weather gods seemed to have a penchant for mischief during the production of Paris when it sizzles, with downpours that left the cast and crew drenched and disgruntled. So relentless was the rainfall that the Rye moniker Paris, when it drizzles emerged among the beleaguered ranks. Despite the meteorological challenges, the cast's unflagging determination turned adversity into camaraderie, resulting in a light-hearted legacy that still brings smiles to those in the know. A rainy nod to a classic Richard Benson's character, a disillusioned screenwriter, finds himself spinning tales against the backdrop of Paris. Amid the lines of his screenplay, a subtle homage unfolds, referencing the iconic alley scene from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Here, a couple's embrace beneath the rain-soaked heavens strikes an evocative chord, echoing the timeless imagery that once graced the final moments of another cinematic masterpiece. This intertextual nod showcases the interconnectedness of the silver screen, where inspiration is passed down through the ages like a cherished heirloom. A smash hit and a Ferrari mishap as filming progressed, the momentum of Paris when it sizzles was undeniable, and yet one particular sequence proved an unforeseen challenge. The Dracula-themed scene, intriguingly, emerged as the final piece of the cinematic puzzle. However, fate took an unexpected turn when William Holden, the film's male lead, found himself in a vehicular mishap. A clash where the wall left Holden in a splint and necessitated the sequence's hasty truncation. The actor's misfortune, however unfortunate, became part of the narrative tapestry, a testament to the unpredictable nature of both Hollywood and life itself. In the end, Paris when it sizzles brought to the world not only a timeless tale of romance and imagination but also a legacy of resilience and camaraderie that endures to this day. From rain-soaked misadventures to nods to cinematic ancestors, this 1964 classic reminds us that behind every unforgettable story, there lies a trove of equally mesmerizing tales yet to be told. Paris when it sizzles, a quirky tale born from a tumultuous timeline in the glitzy world of Hollywood, where timing can be as capricious as the silver screen narratives themselves. The story behind the 1964 movie Paris when it sizzles unfolds as a true cinematic curiosity. The film, renowned for its comedic twists and Parisian charm, found itself entangled in a series of events that left an indelible mark on its production. 
Filmed in the bustling streets of Paris in 1962, the movie's release was delayed until 1964, confounding both critics and eager audiences. This curious chronology birthed an air of mystery around the film, a blend of romance, comedy, and intrigue that eventually captivated moviegoers upon its belated unveiling. The silver lining of this delay was the subtle synchronization that emerged between Paris when it sizzles and another Audrey Hepburn Stara charade. The former's filming wrapped up a mere two days prior to the commencement of production for the latter, a delightful coincidence that linked these two Parisian tales. What adds a layer of intrigue to this celluloid affair is the unexpected addition of Tony Curtis to the cast. Much like his impromptu appearance in the film's script, Curtis joined the ensemble as a last-minute inclusion, injecting an unforeseen dynamic into the movie's narrative rhythm. This mirroring of on-screen and off-screen spontaneity is emblematic of the very essence of Paris when it sizzles, where the unpredictable becomes par for the course. As the lights dimmed and the projector word to life, audiences were transported to a whimsical Paris, where romance blossoms against a backdrop of enchanting chaos. The film's tumultuous journey from Parisian streets to silver screens worldwide serves as a testament to the capricious nature of Hollywood's creative dance. In retrospect, Paris When It Sizzles stands as a testament to the delicate interplay of timing and chance in the realm of cinema. Its delayed release, coincidental synergy with another Hepburn classic, and the spontaneous casting of Tony Curtis all contribute to a cinematic experience that mirrors the very unpredictability of life itself. In this quirky tale of love, laughter, and happenstance, the stars aligned, both on the screen and behind the scenes, lights, camera, intrigue. Givenchy's perfume debut, a fragrant innovation in film by your name in the captivating world of cinema, where visual and auditory sensations reign supreme. A subtle yet groundbreaking innovation emerged in 1964 seconds Paris when it sizzles. The film, starring the iconic Audrey Hepburn and the charismatic William Holden, boasted a unique feature that left an indelible mark on the industry. The film's distinguished costume designer, Hubert de Givenchy, not only created the glamorous ensembles that adorned Audrey Hepburn, but also made history by receiving a screen credit for a scent. Hepburn's alluring fragrance, carefully selected by Givenchy himself, earned the esteemed designer a place in cinematic credits. This was a remarkable departure from the traditional roles recognized on screen, marking a union of fashion and olfactory artistry. As Hepburn's intoxicating presence graced the screen, her delicate scent added an additional layer of sensory allure, blurring the lines between the fictional world of the film and the tangible world of the audience. This innovative marriage of fashion, film, and fragrance set a precedent that would be emulated in various ways in the years to come. In a masterstroke of serendipity, Paris When It Sizzles set the stage for Hepburn's later involvement in My Fair Lady, a film that would elevate her to even greater stardom. In a witty scene within the movie, Gabrielle and Richard compare the narrative prowess of Frankenstein to the musical splendor of My Fair Lady. Little did they know that Hepburn herself would soon captivate audiences with her dazzling transformation as Eliza Doolittle in the latter film. While the joy of creating Paris When It Sizzles was palpable on set, behind the scenes, a more nuanced sentiment unfolded. According to Audrey Hepburn's son, Sean Hepburn Furr, the film held a unique place in his mother's heart. In his memoir, he revealed that despite her description of it as a joy to make, the film stood as her least favorite among her cinematic endeavors during her illustrious career. Furr's poignant insight provided a glimpse into the complex relationship artists often have with their own work. Hepburn's experience served as a lesson that the ease of production does not necessarily correlate with the ultimate quality of the final product. As the curtains closed on Paris when it sizzles, it left an indelible mark on the annals of cinema, both for Givenchy's scented innovation and Hepburn's bittersweet sentiment towards the film. A testament to the multifaceted nature of artistry, this 1964 gem remains a fragrant chapter in Hollywood's ever-evolving narrative. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Paris when it sizzles, we find ourselves not merely spectators but fellow travelers in the journey of imagination. Through the screen, we've wandered cobblestone streets of the mind, lingering in cafes of creativity, and strolling along the Seine of inspiration. As Audrey Hepburn and William Holden waltzed through their intricate dance of wit and charm, we too were partners in this cinematic tango, swept up in the rhythm of their banter. But as the credits roll, the celluloid dream must momentarily yield to reality. Now, as we stand at the crossroads of past and present, it's your turn to share the tapestry of your own connection with this timeless gem. Perhaps it's a memory of that rainy afternoon when you stumbled upon the movie, or maybe it's the way Hepburn's elegance kindled a spark of inspiration within you. Or could it be the laughter shared with loved ones over Holden's comedic antics? No matter the shade of your memory, it's a brushstroke in the painting of your unique journey. So, take a moment to unravel the threads of your experience with Paris when it sizzles. Share your thoughts, memories, and emotions. Let this film be more than a mere celluloid sequence. Let it be a mirror reflecting the colors of your own life. Thank you for joining us on this excursion through the cinematic landscape of 1964, where Paris truly sizzled, and stories bloomed like the vibrant gardens of imagination. Your narratives are the stars that continue to light up this ever-evolving narrative of artistic connection. 
Until we meet again in the realms of celluloid dreams and shared stories, keep the magic of Paris when it sizzles alive within your heart, with sincere appreciation for your time and passion.